Hi folks, another piece of my life, 1940s, 1950s. So I'm going to make this a fairly short one because I don't want to go on forever. Um, primarily, it's looking back, 1940s, 1950s, and really looking at why those early years are special to me, why early years are special to you. Uh, some of you will have those years, some might be able to go back a bit further, some will be further this way. But we'll drink to that, eh? This uh, Carolina Reaper is took over from the ghost chili. Big time. Oh, that's it. Oh. Peter, that weren't around in the 1940s, 50s. It's a pretty modern invention, Carolina Reaper. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. 1940s, 1950s, yeah, I was there. Uh, 1940s, I was there for... Um, most of it apart from 20 days so why is that uh, why is those years important to me those were the years when you molded a lot of what you're gonna become is molded into you I'm not saying people mold it some of the things that do dictate to where you're gonna become but you, you are an individual character with your own free will and you will become whatever you are which is what I did um, so 1940s although it was just that uh, last 11 months that I had to go through um, why is it important? well Excuse me. A lot of the 40s dribbles over into the 50s because decades don't happen like that. They don't go boop, tick over on the calendar and everything just bloody changes like a curtain opening. You get a blend. So the 1940s was still there during the 50s and it started changing as it does for any decade so yeah a lot of what was there at the time was special to me because I was a toddler growing up you're learning pretty fast you're taking everything in everything you see is going everything you hear is going in you're like a computer that's just sapping everything in that's around you smells sights feelings, pains, joys, whatever, <coughs> all those things you're having to learn at that very early age. <coughs> Excuse me, that freaking chilly. So, yeah, the, the 40s, very small, but the influence came into my life. So if we look then at the 50s, we're talking about one year onwards. And I still have memories of, of those years. Uh, when I was one, um, we had a one up, one down, very old uh, 1940s house, I suppose. It's more for older people. It was a one up, one down. For my nan, uh, my mum lived with me nan, I was obviously living with my mum. Um, but so many flipping memories. And we had this big old fashioned fireplace. They put the coal and everything. That side there was a big cast iron oven that the heat from the fire went in 
you could bake, you could put stuff on the top, boil it. Um, one big oven door, great big uh, metal knob. And this Lenny Bright Spark up one year old. Uh, I think I also remember this great big uh, uh, railing thing that we'd have round it, but that day whether it was not there or whether this made us get one, I don't know. But this young idiot yeah. forward grabbed hold of that knob. Of all the things I could have freaking grabbed, I grabbed hold of the other knob. And you still see a mark there. It took all the skin off that hand and this little toddler had to go to the hospital and have it all peeled off and stuff and put on and blah de blah. But the good thing is the nurse has said to me, Mum, I don't know, just sat there bloody taking it. We have adults in here for less than that screaming the freaking heads off. Well, I've always been a little sod. So, yeah, uh, I do remember that. Um, I, bit, I blocked out the falling and the pain, but I remember toddling in to the hospital, swinging doors, <laughs> which is another thing that put the bloody wind up everybody because somebody would go through the swinging doors, Charlie here, Toddle afterwards or ah bloody hell that door's gonna come back and hit him. Never did. Bit bloody dead. Anyway, so not <coughs> that's the very beginning of the fifties, end of the forty nines, fifties, that was at the very beginning. But <coughs> it was very special to me because there's lots of memories from there. Like I said those years moulded me, um, moulded a lot of me as to what I am today, um, moulded a lot of the, the goth side of me in, yeah that, that came many years later, um, somebody says whoa goth, and we all said it's pleased I love a little bit of it, now whether it was the music that attracted us, the the new style attracted us, a different way of life attracted us, whether the old lot attracted us or whatever, for lots of us at that time there was a lot already in there but we never had anything to pull it together. Um, so all these feelings, all these memories, all, all whatever we had were just scattered. Once somebody brought something together then it brought all that into one lump and that's when you say I'm home this is this is me this is what I am I've got something that's pulled it together and it pulls it together with like-minded people up until then you'd be lucky to just come across people that were very like-minded so that oh you're very much like me but there would not be anything as such, not as big as say goth to, to pull you together. So yeah, 1950s, a lot of what that became started there. I was pretty dark. Um, I said in another video, the, the one on cemeteries, that uh, that was my favorite thing to do at that toddler age. Visits to the cemetery was like going to the bloody Bahamas or somewhere that was hey, fantastic. I flipping loved it. Everything around it loved it. Uh, there was dark, darkness around at that time. I remember um, the bedroom, the dark corners and everything. And I don't know, they just seem bloody darker than they do now. <laughs> They were really dark. You could really imagine something coming out of that darkness. Just don't seem, I, I don't know whether it's because you get older and you just don't care anymore, whatever. 
not that I bloody cared at that age, but looking back it just seemed blacker. Um, maybe it was, who knows. <clears throat> the bedroom, the bed was uh, old Victorian, I suppose. It was the original, um, what, what, did, what did he bloody call them? Cast iron bed or something? Can't remember the name now. Anyway, you know the ones I'm talking about with the, the head of the bed and the foot of the bed was all this brass piping with knobs on the top, ornamental knobs. This one was black. It was all black metal, uh, some brass stuff on the top. Very goth. I would not kick that out. If somebody said this is the bed of your childhood, would you like it? Get it in there, thank you very much. Very, very goth. Lots of the stuff around at that time, the 1950s, funny enough, was pretty goth inspiring. Um, trying to think when my grandmother was born. I think my grandmother was born, should have been a young girl or something, Prob I think. I think she'd have been a young girl around about the time of Jack the Ripper and that, uh, which I think was Victorian times. Um, so, lots of people by the 40s, 50s had moved on. There was electricity, there was all this, that and the other. They were living like you see that time. Other people were still slowly um, and I suppose because my grandmother was the main character in this, we were still living a generation, really. She had this big brass bed, that's what I call it, big brass bed. Um, the old wind-up record players. Did have a radio, it was one that had a bloody great battery like that inside, which was near enough what you call bloody car battery now, but they're bloody great big things. I had to take them to the garage to be charged up. Um, trying to fit if we had electricity. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if we did. I, I think the light in the ceiling was uh, gas with gas mantles. We had a one light on the wall which I know was a, a gas mantle. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember having electricity. We, we was Victorian gas. <laughs> so that was very goffy. Um, lots of the things around again were Victorian. So again, it was still pretty goffy in a way. Lots of stuff, oh, I would just take it out, stick it in here, no problem, and I'd be flipping happy with it. So, the 1950s, very special years that were moulding me to, to be what I was. If you look back at the 50s, you look back at old TV, all this, that and the other, yeah, especially America, the 50s were sort of pretty modern and whatever but I suppose when I was a, a kid we were still we're still in uh, the aftermath of the war we were still rationing um, which I didn't know at the time but when I look back at things that were talked about and rationing books and that makes bloody sense um, so we was, we was coming out of that and we probably weren't as uh, fast as America. I remember America having uh, colour television, I think, freaking centuries before we had it in this country. We thought black and white was bloody good. You lot over there were listening to bloody watching uh, colour. 
How dare you? Anyway, yeah, so look back at your life. It won't necessarily be the 1940s, 50s. Um, it might be 90s, 20s. It might be 80s, 90s. Some of you might be a bit further back than me. Look back at those early years, those first couple of decades, and I know you look back and you think, oh, I remember that and I remember that, but look back, really look at it, see how it was moulding you, the things that you love to do, the music that was around at the time, the things that were around at the time, and you weren't goth then, but look back at how important the word to you. Um, before maybe some of you got to the age where you said, oh, it's all to do with goth now, never mind all that. Because never mind all that is bloody important. The memories, the memories of your experience, the memories of things that moulded you, and the music is a big part of that because the music brings it back. Now, so I've, I've gone over the years. I, I love every rock. I, I loved reggae at the time when it was really big. You name it, I've loved it. I love goth. My favorite band at the moment is Mono Inc. These are two I bought just lately. Bloody fantastic. Um, but 40s, 50s, music, very special to me. Nobody will ever tell me to get rid of it because I bloody won't get rid of it. If somebody wants to say, you're not bloody goth then, tough shit. Because it's memories, uh, it's part of my life. These bring back things I did that bring back people I knew, that bring back people that I love, that bring back people that have passed on and gone. So there is boxes of your childhood. This is my childhood in a box. This I bought the other day, £4.99. There's eight vinyl albums in there. The Dance Band Days. I can't see without putting my glasses on. I just can't be freaking bothered. But it goes back to the beginning of the, the big dance bands. Uh, it, it has a LP that looks at uh, dance band music through the war years and the after years and then a certain type of dance band, another certain type of dance band era. People like Glenn Miller, all those. Um, and I don't care, I listen to those. And to be honest, if you listen to this and you don't sit there tapping your freaking foot and sort of going, you're dead, da, 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 along with it. If you don't do that, you're dead. So, Get something like this, try it, and if you're not going, you're dead. It's a good way of finding out if you think to yourself, still alive, do that. Today from the same shop, didn't see this the other day, maybe it got stuck in since. It's of the 40s, this was one pound 99 for two vinyl albums and uh, looking at it I think there's a fair whack of the American 40s in here the American big bands and even there because I don't know much about it in that respect but big band music was definitely a big American thing Billy Holiday and the old shebang at the time. So yeah, when you lot bugger off, I'm going to put this on and I'm going to listen to it without anybody saying, eh, play, watch that thing. 
and then tap the freaking foot. Enjoy it. Drinker 2018 spicy. But I want you to look back first couple of decades of your life. The music, even music now that you look back at, you probably say, I'm so freaking duff. Look back at it and try and figure how that moulded you, what memories it's given you. And if you're still pretty young, what memories that's going to give you in the future because some of the stuff you listen to now and go, freaking hell, man. I'm promising you, when you get older, when you get to my age, that will become important to you. You won't give a shit whether it, it's not quite what you like or whether it's quite the beat you like or whatever. It will have memories. And when your mum's gone or your dad's gone or someone special to you's gone, You'll hear that music and you'll think, <sighs> reminds me of those times when my mum or my dad would play it, or my mum and dad would play it, and I'd look over and I'd go, oh my giddy bloody aunt, what they're doing? They're flicking dancing to it or something. You'll have all those memories, it'll bring back beautiful memories. So whether you're goth, whatever you are, don't knock other music for me 1940s 1950s so many memories and I'm not going to throw those memories out the freaking window so there you go so yeah without going into too much of 1940s 1950s there is so many memories in there but what I'm trying to get over there were pieces of my life You'll all have two early decades, which are pieces of your life. Mine are very special. Yours are very special. God bless anybody that one of those decades of rap. If you like rap, I apologise. I just can't stand it. But anyway, yeah, have a go at that. Play some of the old stuff with a different outlook and see what it brings to you. Don't just listen and go, bloody hell, that's ABBA. Listen, if it, if it was ABBA, listen to those tracks and then bring back memories that those tracks bring to you. <laughs> oh no, you've probably got a memory of wanting to frizz it out the window but the other memories that were, were surrounding it <laughs> might be a mum dancing around the bloody kitchen singing dancing queen to a spoon but you'll have memories so folks <coughs> here's, to, here's to the 1940s 1950s of my life and here's to your two early decades, all the best. There may be trouble ahead, but while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance.